Hey guys, I am giving away copies of this game. Wanna win one? Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. I will pick winners and announce them within my videos to come. So exotic items in this game, where do they come from and how rare are they? Well people, today I'll give you a few tips on how you can get your hands on them. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed your stay here and would like to show your support, hitting that like button truly helps out. And subscribe if you do want to see more. So it's in reality still real early days with this Avengers game. Me personally, I ain't one to try rush through games such as these, as I do indeed enjoy taking my time. But I know there are legends out there who do love to grind the heck out of games like these. Now one of the ultimate end game goals this game offers is obviously those exotic gear pieces. Today I bring you all you need to know about these exotics and the methods right now in how you get your hands on them. And let me tell you, the methods in actually getting these ain't easy nor quick. It's quite a farm and players who ain't 100% dedicated probably won't see them for a while. And as far as I'm aware, even when you do get to the stages of being able to get these exotics from their loot sources, I still believe even then they are super super rare to come across. Now I will mention, the only people I have seen reporting getting these exotics were all over that 130 power level. I can't confirm this is needed, but it does seem they drop more so for people over this level, doing the activities I'm about to showcase to you. So how actually do you get exotics and where do they drop from? Well people exotics are it seems tied to high level elite heroic hive missions. Next question, what and how do you get to play these hive missions? Well guys, this is where things get a little confusing for some, so I will run you through exactly how you unlock these heroic hive missions. Which by the way, and basically right now, are the ultimate endgame activities. So firstly, they require completing the entirety of that single player campaign and then you have to do things within that multiplayer side of the game. Which here you have to complete the Avengers initiative mission chain, which you should see within your mission tab. Step 1 is called the days ahead. This will require with certain steps for you to complete various other things to progress here. Here there are a total of 9 steps to this mission chain, with the last one being Avengers Forever, which is the elite heroic hive. Getting to this point though will require you to complete every harm room challenge for each character, every iconic character chain, all of the faction mission chains. So yeah, like I said, it will take quite a while to get here. But once you do get here and get to that ninth step of the Avengers initiative mission chain, you unlock the elite heroic hives. And then guys you can farm it from this point and your chances of getting those exotics have just unlocked or increased. Now like I said being a 130 plus seems to be needed and also remember even at these power levels they still seem to be ultra rare with only a few people I know reporting that they've had them drop from this elite heroic hive mission which is crazy. So yeah the grind to get these is unreal it's true end game. 130 plus power level which isn't crazy hard to do, I uploaded a great farm for powerful levels which you'll find on my channel or linked within the video description and also a great way in getting to that level 50 overall Avenger level. I'll also link that within the video description too if you want to check it out. But yes people, as of right now, this is how you get exotics. Pretty hard, pretty long, but this is what the game is all about, it's a grind, it's an end game grind. And on that note we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Avengers be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.